Hey everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be looking at setting up the locomotion and walking forwards and backwards uh, with our character um, very much in the same style as the classic Resident Evils. Uh, I'll show you what I have so far. Um, if I click play, uh, first of all you'll notice bottom left there is the new record uh, logo. I've also done a cam one here, which is because I'm trying to uh, set up a system that identifies the different cameras within your scene using tags. Uh, but that's not quite finished yet. Um, but I will cover that as well. Uh, but so far, we've got the walking forwards, um, and we can also walk backwards, like so. Now it looks a bit wooden because I'm using a Mixamo animation. Uh, I will probably add a much better animation when I have one, but for now, we've got the lovely wooden Mixamo animation, which you can download and add to your product um, right now. You can get it whenever you want. Obviously, it doesn't turn yet, so we are walking left and right, but again, that will change um, uh, as soon as possible. I can still move around with the mouse, but again, that will also go away once we've set up the turn in place uh, with the... Uh, a and D button. So I'll show you how to set up a locomotion and the um, the animation because we're not using a one-dimensional blend space this time. We're going to be using um, um, the other one, the, the better one. So <clears throat> first thing, let's set up a new anim BP. So go to animation, go to animation blueprint, click on the skeleton you want to use. And just call this anim BP. I'm going to put toot at the end because I'm doing this for the second time. And open it up. Now you'll be met with this. Uh, a completely blank one. Um, there's nothing even in the event graph at this point in time. Um, but that's fine. If you right click and create a uh, uh, state. We want to state, uh, add new state machine. I'm just going to call this locomotion. Um but call yours whatever you want to and just plug it in. Um, that's all we have to do on that section for this tutorial. Compile. Uh, and now we need to start adding the different states we want to have our animation play. So I'm going to set everything up but only create the front, forward and backwards for today. Uh, so let's add a state in. We'll call this um, idle slash walk. Uh, like so. Uh, and that's all that we need to do. Well, well, we'll set everything up actually. So the next thing I want to do is um, what I'm currently looking at for the, the turning is um, setting up a separate animation for turning right um, and turning left. Now this will probably create some compile errors, but it won't matter for now. I don't know why I put in turn left there. Turn left. Okay. I'm going to set this up so it makes more sense. So uh, let's do it a bit more like this. So eventually when we finish tomorrow's episode, what will happen is when we're playing, it should always enter idle walk. So if we're, and we'll, we'll run this via speed and direction. Uh, and then when we do something, it'll either go to the turn left and turn right. And that's obviously using A or D. Uh, and that will rotate our character. So we can obviously get some compiler errors. That's fine for now. Uh, just pop that up there. The next thing we want to do is um, we want to add in a, uh, if we go to animation again and just go for a normal blend space. We're not going for a one dimensional one. We want the full range. Click on the skeleton you want and just call this um, idle walk. I'm just going to call mine Idle Walk Toot, but yeah, you can call yours again, whatever you want. Open that up, and this is what it will look like. Now, with all your animations in the game, you, they will all show up on the right-hand side. Um, let's we, we just want a, an idle. Now, you can obviously use any animations you want, um, but just be wary... Um, that they sit right on this grid, okay? Now, I will set this up for you, so if you if you are copying along at home, uh, hopefully you'll get the result that I'm getting when you're done, as long as you copy me. 
So on the left hand side, they might be closed up, so you might have to open them. But you should have horizontal axis and vertical axis. For horizontal, we want to set this to direction. We want a minimum of a minus 180, and we want a maximum of 180, um, so that we get uh, the backwards and the forwards. For the vertical axis, we want this to be speed. And you want your minimum axis to be zero, so that your character can actually go into idle mode. And for a maximum, because the Resident Evil games, they felt a lot more slower, I'm going to be using a walking speed of 200 and a maximum speed of 400. Set that like that. And make sure your idle sits at zero and zero. But we also want our idle to sit on every one of our grid spaces. So we need to get the idle five times for us. Just put it down. Um, at every space you can. I think I always find something like this works for me. Um, I'm probably going to try and keep this as um, equal as I can. So make sure it's not 90.17. It's actually 90. And this should be 00. zero. So that's your idle setup. The next thing we want to do is work out when we want to walk. Now we, as I said, my walk speed will be set to a maximum of 200. So bring it out onto the board, click on it, make sure its direction is zero and it has a speed of 200. And then for the run, bring it all the way to the top. Again, make sure it's sat at zero and the speed is set to 400. Then all we need to do is add in our walking backwards which is this one here. This one you want to sit at, um, we don't want to be able to run backwards. We only ever want to be able to run forwards. So we know that this can sit at 200 and <clears throat> we need it to sit at minus 180. And we also need it to sit at uh, 180 and again, 200 speed. So that is your walking forwards and backwards setup as this style of the classic Resident Evils. Um, save this then what we want to do is we want to now come back to our anim BP tutorial click on this uh, we want to find that um, anim walk uh, the, the walk tutorial BP and plug that in like so now I've already set these this all up in my other one but I'm gonna reset this up for you guys as well we want to promote both of these two variables like so uh, so we want our direction and our speed um, and we're going to obviously define these using our third person character within the um, uh, event graph here. Okay, this is where this now comes into play. You Again, you've probably seen this on a few of my other videos where I've been obviously setting up things like crouch and sprinting and um, <clears throat> running, uh, sprinting and running, the same thing. But you know what I mean, uh, where I've been setting up all my different animations uh, like the weapons and things like that. This is where it's all driven from. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is cast to our third person character. Um, the reason is, is that's because that's what's going to drive a lot of these um, figures we need to set, like the speed and the direction. Our ultimate goal is to basically set this speed variable and this... Um, direction variable so from our third person character we want to get movement no uh, let's um, get velocity get last update velocity like so uh, and then we want to get the XY vector length XY and that will be our calculated speed. Uh, I'm going to put this into a sequence, actually, like so. And that can go into there, like so. From here, what we want to do is um, we want to calculate, no, 
we could probably get this node on its own. Calculate direction, there we go. Uh, and that will become our direction, but we obviously need to um, work out what the velocity and the rotation is. So to do that, what we want to do is pull off from this get last updated velocity, plug that into there. And from here, we want to get uh, rotation, uh, get actor rotation. And plug that into here. And that will calculate our direction. And that's literally all we need to do for the setup to get it working. But we need to do a couple of things in our third person character now. Uh, and most of this will take place within the character movement. First thing we want to do is come down, find our walk speed and set that to 200. That's That way we will be able to um, walk at the speed that we require to play the walk animations and the backwards animations. The second thing we want to do in our character movement is just put in rot. What this brings up, now you'll find probably in your project, the orient rotation to movement will be ticked. So untick that, uh, but make sure you tick use controller desired rotation. That way you should, oh, and obviously, of course, go into your mesh um, and put in the new Anim BP, which is gonna be Anim BP toot 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 for me. Compile, now there's gonna be compile errors. The reason for that is because we haven't set up the turn right and left yet. But if we walk now, we walk forwards. And if we walk back, we get our animation. And it's as simple as that. Now, you'll, as I said, you'll probably still have the mouse being able to, con to forward or to control your rotation. That's because it was set up to the third person. We're gonna be unsetting that and setting up our own turn rate with this. The mouse will only be used for firing and aiming. Um, so we'll probably right click to bring our aim up like they do in Resident Evil uh, and then the other and left click to shoot. That's the only things we're going to be doing um, with our mouse setup potentially. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, hopefully locomotions, uh, the locomotion and MVP makes a bit more sense now. It's not so scary. Um, it basically just drives all your animation um, direction and where you need it to be. So for example, if you wanted to crouch, you'd pull off from the idle walk and have like an idle crouch set up um, so that when you press C, it goes into crouch and you can then walk around crouched. And then if you unpress it, it goes back. And that's what these transitions are. But we'll look at that when we set up our turn left and right in the next episode. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, locomotion is not as scary for you guys. And hopefully the next episode will help you even further understand it. Um, but yeah, that's that's how to set up forward and backward movement um, or directional movement as a whole. You could add left strafe, right strafe and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, and yeah, and uh, thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, next episode, as I said, we'll do turn left and right and I'll probably add the sprint in as well. Um, and then we will see what we can do from there on as well. But thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment and hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can always change your mind down the line. Take care. Bye.